If you own a GoPro, you're probably used to bullshit footage like this. It looks like you sold your cat to a neighbor for $14 and bought the camera out of his basement's fridge. <laughs> what if I could help you? Does it even look any better? The light changed so much. The sun went behind a cloud. This was supposed to be the most cinematic. It is. Don't doubt yourself. The sun's returning. I can show you how to do this. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. Next to me is a sewer rat child who uses out of camera GoPro settings. He thinks he's cinematic, but really, he can't learn numbers or letters, so he doesn't know how to touch things. <laughs> he only touches cats inappropriately, I might add. He's using some bullshit settings. He's in 4K, over sharpened, over saturated. It's disgusting, really, to look at. People are walking past him. He's embarrassed. It's kind of funny, actually. What a loser. I'm alone. I have no cares in the world. He's ugly. He's a lot uglier than me, but we're good. So you may be wondering how I did it. How did you accomplish such amazing footage on a GoPro? It's almost impossible. Let me show you how. Oh my god, it's the new Ulanzi G95 for the GoPro 10. They made it for the 9, but it also fits on the new one. Wow. It allows the use of 52 millimeter glimmer glass like filters, and it's made of aluminum. It holds the GoPro audio adapter underneath, and I can't believe it. It only weighs 700 pounds. It's available through my affiliate links down below. So the light's coming down hard. This is not where action cams shine, admittedly, but first a little house cleaning note. I may have made a mistake, a big one. So this GoPro adapter, I make this video yesterday, two days ago, I think, and the thing dies. It doesn't have any audio. It's just hiss. I'm like, what the hell, GoPro again? You effed me, you surfing piece of shit. You can't build a piece of technology that doesn't blow up in my hands. Oh, that was annoying. But, so I'm testing different mics, and every mic works, but the one, and I was like, did my lav mic die? I've never had a lav mic die in my hands. Ah, the, the blood that I saw. So, the lav mic died. It doesn't work in any of my cameras. I've never had that happen. It's within the realm of possibility that the GoPro adapter killed it. I ain't throwing that out. Uh, that could have happened, a murder. But, so hopefully, right now we just have a shotgun mic and we have some footage. Sunlight's blessing our hearts right now. I do have a double rig here. DJI Action's gonna come out and play in a little bit, huh? But do we have some somewhat respectable image now in a GoPro? We got a filter with glimmer glass-like abilities. What's up, buddy? Come out of the road. I'll give you a nut. Oh, you look like you wanted one. That did not work. I lured him into the street. He's as good as dead. Oh, that's on me. That's on me. So what we have here is the Ulanzi G9 5 cage. It's a metal cage that holds 52 mil filter threads. That didn't make sense. And the GoPro audio adapter underneath, not the media mod, just the adapter. Because if you get the media mod, no filters. Where's your glimmer glass now? Not in your heart. So now we have a glimmer glass filter on there, 52 mils. Audio adapter hopefully working. Oh, if it's not, I swear. But it should be. It could be. And 5K 30p, sharpness on medium, a little half a point of EV reduction. We could have something. It could be somewhat respectable. Is it as good as DJI? I doubt it. Let's find out. Are you seeing it? Which one is better? The one from two years ago? Or you? We got the GoPro. The GoPros? A little higher up because of that stupid ass audio adapter making it taller. Oh, I didn't plan ahead for that one. But I bought a little bracket thing, so they're both on the same thing now. So that should be the ultimate test as opposed to holding it in two hands like I've always been doing. And now we can see the exact same changes in sunlight. 
Wow. So what we have on the DJI is a KNF Concept Black Mist. I will reverse them. Why am I in this? I'm just in like a buildings parking lot. I do not live here. I've been kicked out. Now the sun is coming down fast. So let's just switch the filters and see glimmer glass versus black mist. I think the glimmer glass should look better, but did anything change? Were you preferring one and now you're preferring the other? So glimmer glass now on the DJI. Huh? And we reversed it. Plus, I also have that plus two macro filter. Thank you so much for telling me about that thing. I had no idea that there was a filter that could get you closer. It shortens the minimum focus distance, which was DJI's major problem. And same with the Insta360, the one inch mod. You get one of these for that? You're talking, you're talking to somebody. That's for sure. So I have a cage for each of them that has the same 52 mil thread, but it's different companies. That's interesting that they both went with 52. I guess that's the smallest filter that wouldn't vignette. So that makes sense. We got the small rig cage for the DJI, Ulanzi cage for a GoPro. It's heavy. It's a little heavy. I'll tell you that much. Here's the weights, DJI and GoPro. Even with both of them, like it's no big deal at all, but it's just noticeable. Like, wow, this is actually almost a camera without a lens, kind of. It's like barely a ZV-1 if it was a foot, but eh. here's some low light performance. I'll tell you, there's a couple things I don't love about the Ulanzi cage, which is what we're reviewing here. But like these cages make action cams somewhat respectable. Without it, no way, no way, you can't do it. So let's do some slow motion shots for some reason. Run across the street, who has the better 240p, and then I'll go home. So final thoughts on the cage. I'll tell you what I don't like about it. There's not much. There was one minor gripe that I had that I think I fixed. If you ever need to take the battery out, you have to unplug that and then this slides out. It's fine now. I just, I had it more centered, like normal looking and I couldn't slide it out. This cord was in the way, but so that's no longer an issue. But I will say this. That little battery flap, that's gonna break. Because to put it on, it goes one way, but then to take it off, it's bending it the other way. Eventually that's gonna snap, I think. That's not good. That's the only thing. I wish it would have clamped on or something different instead of sliding on. That's honestly the only thing, and it's kind of heavy for what it is. But that's your fault, dongle. I've been holding that ribbon down to then slide up. That's awkward. It's just a bit awkward. And I've been using my Sony a7S III cable, the USB-C, and it barely fits in there. It does, but it's barely. It's squeezing tight. So you coulda, you coulda spread your legs. But performance-wise, I'm very happy with it. It's now a complete system. With You got your filters, if you want NDs on there, whatever you want and the audio, it's perfect. Which do I prefer? That's a tough one, man. That's a lot of room for that audio adapter and it's quite a bit heavier, but whatever, it's not much. Both these cages have a quarter inch screw or 
a little GoPro foot that you could screw on instead, which would make this even taller. That's a bitch. And both have a couple cold shoes. Like it's the perfect thing. You couldn't need anything else. I just, I love that tiny little mic adapter on the DJI much better. Just sneaks right in there. If you were wondering where you could possibly get such gear, I do believe in the downward region, there are affiliate links available. I, you might want to, I touched the mic. And just final thoughts, the black mist filter was a bit hazy looking. The glimmer glass gives you like a cinematic edge, but not so much of the shadow destruction. It's a little better, I think, a little more subtle. Not bad, and the DJI colors were a bit red. It's, uh, I can't get rid of it. I don't know what to do with that, but I think I kind of prefer the GoPro. I gotta say, it's well done. Well done. Now that I know that it was my lav mic that was dead, you are now reliable to me, surfer boys. Thank you. Thank you. So, thanks for shopping around down there. What do you think <laughs> of the cameras? Which did you prefer? I tell you, that 4K was sharpening on high is something to behold. That's a, that's a nightmare. That's a nightmare mode, but don't ever use it. Just go 5.3K and let it slide. There better be 24P coming soon and 480 frames per second. I'm gonna go. Did you thumb up the video? Subscribe.